Welcome, my name is Scott Coey. I'm a Senior Manager in Global Financial Services at Amazon Web Services. Today, we're talking about building a cloud-first strategy to deliver value and innovation at scale in the context of a digital transformation. And today, I'm joined by Jen Goodison, the CTO from Engineering Platforms, and Kate Adamchek from Global Digital Platforms, ITSO. And they are both part of Wealth and Personal Banking, or as you'll hear about it referred to a lot today, WPB. Jen, great to see you, and Kate, it's awesome to finally meet you. And thank you both for taking the time to join us today. If you could just share with us, Jen, a little bit more about your background, your journey within HSBC, and, and what your role entails. So I've been with HSBC for 22 years, all of it in technology, and all of it in what is now WPB. Um, I've worked through development roles into analysis and architecture and program directing, and now I'm the CTO of our foundation platforms, which are the cloud hosting platforms on which all of our business services run for WPB. A lot of changes in 20 plus years, I bet. Lots of changes. Yeah, yeah. Um, talking about the importance of, of establishing a strong foundation for your business, we need to understand and implement the right framework, I guess, before starting on a cloud first journey. Kate, you're the Global Digital Platform ITSO, awesome title. <laughs> Could you also share a little bit more about what that actually means and, and also your time within HSBC? Sure, so um, I started working at HSBC about five years ago, um, also starting from technology uh, area, um, gone through uh, supporting the uh, uh, legacy platforms uh, ended up uh, supporting a service hosting platform running on the cloud. I feel that this role evolved within the um, alongside the uh, digital transformation. Um, ITSO these days wearing multiple hats and working with various teams inside and outside um, the, the organization that they work with. And I also feel that these days ITSOs, digital ITSOs if you like, um, meant to challenge a lot of old banks of you know regulated services uh, service management processes uh, to allow that cloud adoption to to happen so if you if you think about my role is constantly fitting a circle into square uh, every day is different and then brings a lot of joy and challenges and from your engineering platform perspective and looking at wpb's journey through the cloud and its strategy how does your team support the transformation strategy, and what are some of the challenges you've seen around providing that support? Sure, so HSBC is highly a regulated environment, so it means there's a lot of standards and uh, compliance, government security rules that we have to fulfill in order to, to bring new technology um, into our environment. Um, so um, we had to uh, somehow um, address those hurdles. So we were working very closely with your team to find ways how we can adopt, um, you know, cloud technology uh, and build all those new services. And we still have uh, old compliance engines uh, within the bank. So we had to build new systems on top of that to make sure that while we're adopting the, the, the cloud technology, we also uh, comply with, with, with bank standards. So we build um, uh, systems related to the compliance dashboards and breaks and how we manage our, our access um, for, for our employees and business users. So your team was working with various HSBC teams to, to make that happen and um, that allow us to, to progress with the cloud adoption. And, and I guess with WPB being a global business unit within HSBC, those are the global regulators you need to deal with. It's not just one regulator. Obviously, I mean, yes. Yeah. There are yeah. lots, of, lots of markets, lots of different regions and slightly different rules. So um, it, it, was, it was good problem solving how to implement that while still uh, keeping on top of, of the standards that we had to follow. And I guess financial engineering, it's, it's a dynamic field. It's completely different to the way it used to be. Um, a lot of success, innovation, and you know, profitability requires you to be at the forefront of research for new products, new customer demands, and new services. Talk to us a little bit about your time, Jen, and the last four years, four or five years, and what you've seen in the evolution of, of the financial engineering role? Historically, engineers, in, certainly in HSBC, were, were very specialised in one or two areas. Um, we would have lots of people who were incredibly good at, at the thing that they did. 
we're now moving much more towards full stack engineering and T-shaped or M-shaped engineers and, and people who are really, really good, um, broadly speaking, have a couple of, of different specialities, but are able to slot into whichever team they need to be in. My team has all of the platform for WPB from the deployment pipelines to the hosting platform, to monitoring, to alerting, the API management um, platform and everything in between. And we need our engineers to be able to, to slot themselves out of one team and into another on a fairly regular basis so that we can keep everybody current, but we can also keep the work that we're doing quite fresh. Kate's already talked about um, some of the challenges with the regulators and, and how we can't take our services down at any point. So uh, as a bank, we can't just have a weekend outage to put something new in. We have to keep everything going. And so we have to work out how we implement something new to address a problem on a platform that we haven't seen before. And our business engineers are the engineers who work within our value streams to deliver business services out to the customers who don't have some of those specialisms. My team has to work out how we implement something new on a new platform whilst keeping the ship moving. And that can be quite difficult. And so we need people who can think about the consequences of what they're doing at the same time of thinking about how technically they would do it. So with these challenges, how has AWS helped you through some of these? Uh, Notion Line is a really good way of looking at it. Um, one of my team describes this as, we're trying to take the egg out of a cake that's already been baked whilst someone's eating it. Because we have many, many years of legacy behind us, huge systems which are very efficiently running the bank right now. We have customers using our services, colleagues using our services all over the place. And what we're trying to do is to lift and re-engineer a bunch of those applications to take them from the on-prem um, infrastructure onto cloud. So the biggest challenge we have at the moment is our API state. We're in the process of migrating API platform providers, migrating our APIs from on-prem onto cloud and re-engineering those APIs as we go. And that's an enormous undertaking across WPB. We've got somewhere in the region of 7,000 APIs that we need to do something to over the course of the next 12 months. Um, AWS are really helping us because once we've got that huge estate onto SHP, so onto the new platform, we actually have to run it and we have to run it efficiently and we have to run it at scale because the, the point at which we've, we've migrated, we want our value streams to move at pace to get new services out in front of customers because all of this is about getting something in front of a customer. WPB is massive. We have many thousands of engineers and we're all about economy of scale. We're all about designing and building something once and using it many, many times. So with work that we're doing with AWS, we in my team are looking at the patterns that our engineers and value streams can use to take something that they've had running on our legacy infrastructure for many years, re-engineer that and get that onto cloud, not just in the same way as it ran on-prem, but in a more efficient cloud fit for purpose type way, which is not a small undertaking because we have many, many engineers who've been with the bank for a reasonable amount of time. They're used to just having environments provisioned for them. They're used to having databases provisioned for them. And that's not the world that we'll be in. The world will be in, will be engineers provisioning their own environments, databases as service, monitoring as code and all of that kind of thing. And what we need to be able to do through our team is to have all of that thinking done up front, as much of that out of the box as possible for our engineers so they can focus on business value. And that's where working with someone like AWS yeah. is extremely valuable. And, and I know I touched on introduction about that upskilling piece, obviously, to, to shift the skill set of, of the workforce that used to that tin in the basement or the beast in the basement, as it used to be referred to, to this more agile environment. And you referenced there the patterns. And one of the things I think AWS and HSBC has done well in working together on is not just using patterns, but making these repeatable patterns yes. that we can then use to different parts as we talk about with, with wealth and personal banking being a, a global a global business unit. So that's fantastic. There's, there's also the way that we are working together so that your team and my team are really the, the fulcrum in the middle of WPB's cloud 
journey. Yeah. So we have some big team doing some big things, as you know. And rather than have everybody think about things separately and on their own, we're, we're trying to do things in a coordinated way so that if we tackle a problem, let's say over in Hong Kong, and we fix it in Hong Kong, we can repeat that in Brazil or we can repeat that in the US rather than have to do that again. And I think that that partnership across the teams means that we are saving ourselves a huge amount of, of, um, of time and, and money.